some milk yeah <laughs> you get free delivery right absolutely that's great thank you guys so much that's very thoughtful it's a 1914 I had a donor chassis it was a strong car when I got it it had a body on it which I threw away to start with this uh, construction made of wood from the ground up but I restored the frame as well Freshened up the engine a little bit. Didn't spend a lot of money. Plywood, oak skins, worked out nicely for me. I have an affinity for older cars, and initially I couldn't afford to buy real valuable cars. I started with Model T's, fixed them up, and it worked out quite nicely. I have a collection of 16 cars now, uh, seven of which are Model T's. There's one car that takes you anywhere you want to go, the Model T. Strong, sturdy, with a will of its own. It's a revolutionary car. They sold 18 million of them. Henry Ford changed the world with the dynamics of this car. Got the production line perfected to the point where he could produce cars very economically so most people could buy them. It's a very interesting story, and I was always fascinated with Henry Ford. Anybody can get into this hobby for very little money, and I encourage them to try it because it's a lot of fun. You know, I retired uh, a couple of times. The first time I retired, I thought I'd spend some time doing the thing I loved the most, and that was playing with cars. Didn't really have the opportunity to do so when I was working, but had the opportunity when I retired. So I've been doing that a lot lately, having a real nice time making cars, restoring cars, good, having a good time. Today, milk comes to the customer, whether at home, store, or restaurant, at the peak of its triple goodness. Fresh, pure, and energizing. I built the milk truck to uh, honor my parents who were in the milk business 75 years ago. It was a door-to-door -door operation where dad would go literally door-to-door -door delivering milk to people when that was fashionable. Now nothing is delivered except Amazon. It's, it's sort of a 180 degree turn now. It was a great time. My mother at 103 was fortunate enough to see this car built in her honor. Grandma Mary, that's my mother, uh, got a big, big kick out of it. I was very gratified to see that happen. She got some joy out of it, and of course I share the memories with her as well. Uh, I had a great time building the thing. It, it took me about six months, but it was a labor of love. I had fun with it every minute. And I'm still enjoying it quite a bit, and I love to share it with people. They have a good time with it too. Thank you. I really Congratulations. It. It's been fun.